Hello everyone and welcome to today's lesson semantics, sense and reference. First, we have to know the difference between sense and reference. Sense is the meaning of an expression. If a sentence expresses an idea that is meaningful, then it has sense. Let's look at some examples. Alright, here, the sentence says the girl is wearing a blue dress. The sentence makes sense and it's grammatically correct. So, we have here sense, it's a meaningful expression, giving me an idea that I can understand, okay? Now, the other sentence, the king of Egypt is traveling tomorrow to Paris. The sentence also makes sense, it expresses an idea, telling me the king of Egypt is traveling tomorrow to Paris. It's true that we don't have a king of Egypt now, Who's tra traveling tomorrow to Paris, unless you count Munir as a king. Okay, so what's the difference between sense and reference? If an expression refers to so something like a place, object, or person, then it has reference. For example, the Pacific Ocean is magnif magnificent. Okay. Over here, we're speaking about a specific ocean, the Pacific Ocean. We don't speak about any ocean, okay? So, we're referring to the Pacific Ocean. So, here we have reference. Another example. My sister did well in her exams. Over here, we're referring to a person. We're referring to my sister. So, we're not just saying any girl, we're referring to a specific person. Some sentences have sense but no reference. For example, the current president of the UK will not run again for presidency. This sentence makes sense, it's grammatically correct, and we can understand what it means. But it doesn't have any reference now. The UK doesn't, doesn't have a president, so we can't say that this, this sentence has reference. Has reference, alright? So, uh, second sentence, in 3000 AD, people will no longer have jobs as robots will have taken over. Okay, this is a scary situation, or a good situation, as you want to imagine it, but it do, it's not there yet. We don't know what will happen in 3000 AD, okay? So we don't have any reference here. Okay, most words have fixed meanings, but some words have variable meanings. If I say a girl, it has a fixed meaning that you know, but some words have variable meanings, their meanings always change. Expressions that have meanings that vary according to the context or circumstances of utterance are called dialectic expressions. Utterance is saying the word or writing it or whatever. So the expressions that vary according to the, the context and circumstances of utterance are called dialectic expressions. For example, my friend is standing over there now. My changes from situation to situation. Whoever saying my, it means for him. Um, so it, it has the reference to this person who is saying my. Okay? Is standing over there. There could be anywhere. Doesn't have a certain meaning. Now. Now is just have uh, its meaning as the time of its utterance, the time where it's said its utterance. Now, what's diaxis? Diaxis, as we said, is a word that have meaning according to the context. There are three types of diaxis: person diaxis. Time diaxis and place diaxis. The person diaxis 
could be personal pronouns like I, my, mine, you, your, yours. All of these personal pronouns are categorized under the person dieses. An unknown proper noun, unknown proper nouns also serve as dieses. Let's say Tom, Nancy, Ella. I'm still unknown. <laughs> Until I will be famous, I'll be in the person like this. Okay. Um, if we have a known proper noun, let's say the name of a president or the name of William Shakespeare, then we don't have any person directs here. We know who we are referring to. And it doesn't change. Okay. How about time directs? Time directs like now then yesterday last tomorrow next now for the place dioxes we have here there this that these those behind right left front come go bring take so verbs also can have dioxes okay now that we looked at some examples of dioxes let's continue Notes about dioxys. Some dialectic expressions involve psychological shifting, meaning when someone says come over there, what you expect is come over here, but come over there can be used in situations where the person who's speaking is going somewhere and he's telling the listener to go to the same place. Okay, here's an exercise. Identify the dialectic expressions. What's the meaning of dialectic expressions? Meaning that those which require circumstances of utterance. Okay? I'll do the first two sentences and you can do the rest. You can put the answers in comments and I'll tell you if you're right. The first one says, Whales are mammals. Here. This is a general expression expression expressing a general idea whales are mammals we already know that whales are mammals so it's not dialectic we can say, we can't say that whales are mammals is a dialectic expression so it's not a dialectic ex expression okay the next sentence make a u turn after the next stop here this is a dialectic expression because we don't know where the next stop is it could be any stop it needs it requires circumstances of utterance so it's a dialectic exhibition i'll leave these to you to solve you can put them in comments and thank you a lot for watching comment like and subscribe english cake language is a bit, just a piece of cake